Hello guys, welcome again to uh, Let's Build. Today we're going to be working on a new, well it's not new, but it's a kind of a different change they made to the way mapping works in 1.8. So I'm on my server here, uh, we've got lots of stuff that's easy to see that the map maps are working correctly. Um, so the first thing I've done here is we've built a giant interactive wall, or not a giant interactive wall, a giant billboard type wall. You can see it's just 9 by 5 it's a birch wood you guys can use whatever you want to make this I just like the birch wood because it has these little frames already built into them so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so again 5 by 9 and on the back we just have these guys that are 5 tall spaced in 1 1 2 3 4 5 in between 1 2 3 4 5 so it just gives us this billboard effect and what we're going to do is we're going to put an item frame on every single one of these here. And for those of you that don't remember, an item frame. Put one piece of leather in the middle, and then we're going to put sticks all the way around it, and it gives us an item frame. I've already built quite a few of these. didn't want to bore you with all the stuff, so item frames. Let's get that on there. Oops, not quite enough. Hmm. Well, I wanted to use that middle one, so let's take these guys off. And we are going to put them right here, because we're going to start from the very center here. So this place that we're at, this here on my server, this tower here represents the zeros towers. We built that right on the zero zero coordinate, so it was always somewhere easy to come back and find. In fact, I do like good stormy weather, but for this build, we want something a little bit more clear. So, right here in the middle of our billboard, that's going to be their giant tower there, the centers. So, we need maps. We need lots of empty maps. So, again, those of you that don't remember, we need a compass to start it off. So, one compass is four pieces of iron ingot right there on north, south, east, west coordinates. One piece of redstone right there in the middle, and that gives us a compass. We're going to take that compass right back to the middle, and we surround it by paper. And that gives us an empty map. So we put that empty map in there, and there we go. So I'm going to come down here just to make sure I'm within the region. 1.8, it used to be when you made a map, see in the 1.7 version, used to be that wherever you generated, uh-oh, skeleton hanging out there, that's okay, he won't see us sneaking in here. It used to be that when you generated in the map, wherever you were, that would be the center of the map. So it was possible to overlap maps. You could not go out far enough, and then all of a sudden you would have part of your new map that was the same as the old map. Well, in this particular one, they've got zones already kind of portioned off, starting here with this zero, 0. And every zone, starting from your center point, goes out 64 pixels. So the, all the maps are 128 pixels across. So starting from this center point, which is right here, this is our zero zeros. And going that direction, it will go 64 pixels. And each one of those pixels stands for one of these blocks. And then going that way, 64 pixels, that way, 64 pixels, and that way, 64 pixels. So we get a map of 128 by 120 by 8. So let's go ahead and generate one. In fact, they've already done one, and that was our map 0 here. So you can see in our map 0, right there is where we are. We're in the center of this tower, and we've got the roads going north, south, east, and west. So I am going to go out the north road here. And we're going to go put this in the middle of our map. I'm not sure why I don't see us usually when you're on this, see that. So right here, for those of you that are paying attention on this map, right here is 64 pixels. So we would have left this map and to come on to the new map right at this point. So I'm going to go place this in the center of our thing. And maps have an interesting relationship with these item frames. So make sure that you're not on the block, that you're in the item frame itself. And we right click to put it in there. And it takes up the whole block now, just like a regular picture would. And you can see it's nice there. And because we have this relationship now, it makes it seamless. So again, I had another map already printed off. Map number one is the same thing that we were doing. We're in this same area. We can see that we've got that airship right there. It's in our bottom right corner there. This one, you can also see the interactiveness of it. You can see that on the map there, we are the little gray ones, and which way we're facing is pointing there. 
the green one I believe is the other map that I have in my inventory there map number two which I accidentally made another one of this but if you see I'm gonna come in here and because this one's directly below it oh, I made my mistake this is the northern map it needs to go up there and I don't think I can reach that item frame from here oh can I let's put it back where is it map number one is that in the item frame yep all right so there we go so you can see they line up perfectly let's get a um, little dirt brick there so we can see a little bit more clear so you can see that our map lines up perfectly there there's no overlapping anything it goes right on so we are gonna go and build a couple more maps we're gonna go to the north south east and west so I can see just past the barn over there is where I need to go to get that map started coming out this direction uh, it looks like just the start of the hills over there so just inside the mountain is where we want to go for that and then going south this way just past the All right so I know where we gotta go for these In fact, we don't want creepers ruining our day on this build so let's do that again and in fact let's do it this way so if we run this map and we gotta go this direction just past the barn would be over here so right about here because that's where that barn is at we're gonna take out our maps just one because I don't want to accidentally do more than one like I did before and then all I have to do is right click on an empty spot and bam we've got our map there oops and it says as you can see in that top right that we have not chunked out that map yet hmm so all I have to do is run kind of in that direction I know we've been over there but I guess for the map generation it needs a little bit of reminder because it's off we generated too far in the corner there for the chunk data to load onto the map so let's go that direction until it pops in uh oh where'd we go I lost us off the map I wasn't paying attention it's hard to look at the map and run at the same time well as they always say, you get lost, go back, go back, go back, go back to where you were. And I know I was right next to this creeper hole when we fell. Oh, there we are. So I was running the wrong direction. Ha, huh, that makes sense. There we go. Those chunks are filling in. Now we've got a complete map. Okay. So I might have put this in the wrong spot. Well, we will find out soon enough. I'm going to put that away for the moment. Oh, what was that? We're going to run all the way over here because we know that the Great West Road here is where we need to be for this other one because it was about the barn that that one was there. And there's the barn. So let's put another empty map in our hand. Again, right click on an empty space and bam we've got a map so I'm gonna go put this one up on our big map just so we can kinda keep track of where we've been where we're going and when this is all done we should have a huge poster showing of what our world is like and the great thing about these maps again is that they are um, always updating so if I were to say knock down this dragon statue here sweet it would not show up on here anymore which is right there that is our dragon statue it would just be gone where's our other one it was map number three looks like those all lined up just fine in fact I'm gonna keep these stairs here for a moment I might build a nicer viewing station here but for right now we just want to look up there yep the seamless kind of integration of all those together we've got the castle right there that's the automatic wheat farm those are the four other ones 
Yep, this is starting to work out. So let's go this direction and then south. Oops. So again, we uh, only need to go 65 pixels over. Because as soon as you enter the next map zone, pre-designated by the way, again, they're already set up in the way Minecraft works with 1.8. So once we get over to that section, it'll automatically jump us over to that new map section, which, if I remember correctly, is kind of right at the top of the stairs here. No, that's too far. It'll be enough of the way in the map that we know what's, what we're doing. So we're going to come right over here break out another new map right click and there we go so now we're on that southern edge and we can see the house that we built last time is right down there all the way to the bottom on the left hand side okay and we want to put this away we're going to do our west map excuse me yeah our west map we did our east map already so we need to go off to the west this time and we're going to go down by the flower house as well to get the map that goes over there in fact let's do that because this should be the one coming I know on the north part of this one is that next chunk of map So right up here, if I'm standing here, this should be enough pixels out that when I generate a new map right here, it's going to go in that upper quadrant. Yep. Oops. Need to get some chunk data in there. Going in that bottom left part of the map there. Almost done. Good. So there's the great road. Getting close to that one. This is actually our secondary road. Once we get on that, gonna go back up here to where the great road is. And we're going to take another map and head that back. And I think we should be done, at least for this tutorial, what it's like. When we're all finished, come back and give you a finished look on what it looks like. So here we are. This is the Great Road. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, I don't see him. So let's go ahead and grab out our new map. There we go. Now we've got that one. So we can go ahead back up. Start placing these on the big billboard. So you know the routine now to start breaking off. Just pick one central point. The zeros is an easy place to do it. We happen to have a bunch of stuff there, but of course, wherever you build your house is probably a good mainstay. Doesn't like to run when we're this low on food, in fact. Let's eat up. Steak up while we're heading back. we get these maps up on the board and it does name them as you generate them so don't worry about the map names as you're coming through all right almost back I will have to take a look at them before I know which one goes where though so let's see which one is in our that one um, not ready for that one yet, so let's go to this one. This was the one that was south. Yep, so that was our south map, which means this one goes here. Remember, you want it on the. There we go. You can see that that flower house is right there in the corner. And let's get one more there. Awesome. So as you can see, we're starting to get a nice big grid of what's going on in our map. We only needed these two more corners, which we can come back and do here in a little bit. But uh, we already have this really great interactive map going on. We can see as far as we want to go. We've got our house going on down there. We've got the flower house, a nice big grid. 
It's a huge, wonderful in addition, easy decoration, and again, it's interactive as in the point, if I were to wreck our house from last time, it would no longer be on the map. It would show the topography, what's going on as if we were able to fly. So that's how we do a map wall in 1.8. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to get a live up. And thanks again to Sugar, Sugar Packet Games for allowing us to be on there. And um, until next time, guys, this was a Let's Build with Austin Easy.